Hi, this is Digital Bike Computing. We're going to go over the simple and easy steps on how to get movies and TV shows and other videos onto your iPad or iPhone without problem. So you don't need to go and convert videos and movies, etc., to copy them to your iPhone or iPad. You don't need to go into iTunes and convert them and, and get converting apps and everything, uh, which is uh, what a lot of people will think is because by default, the iPad can't play a lot of these videos and movies, etc., using the standard videos app, okay, because it needs to be certain formats. So there are simple apps that you can download from the App Store to um, let you play any movie or TV show, etc., on your iPad. Some are free, some are, some are a small price, depending on what you exactly need. So let's open up the App Store, and we're going to download an app called VLC, VLC for iOS. Okay, so you can go and download that. Now, VLC is completely free and can do most videos and TV shows without problems. Occasionally, you may find a, a small error depending on the video or movie um, if it's a certain format, okay? Now, as I said, VLC can play majority of formats. It is free. It is a great product. I would try that first. See how you go. If you want a few more options um, and if you're having problems with VLC, you can also download an app that I use called AV Player HD. This one is a little bit more advanced um, and can play. I haven't found anything that it can't play um, and it seems to do the trick pretty well. So VLC for free. If you're having problems, maybe try AV Player, uh, which I think I paid $3.99 um, for it. So once they have downloaded, you want to open up uh, AV Player and you'll see in there that I've already got some files that I've copied in. All right. So I've got some episodes and the movie in there. Um, that I've copied in previously. And I can just sim simply select one of those episodes and it will start playing within AV Player. If I close out of that and open up AV Player, uh, VLC Player, sorry, uh, you'll see that it's currently empty. Okay, so the, the media library is empty. So we want to go in and copy files from your computer, from your hard drive, um, onto VLC. So what's handy is if you've got movies that you've ripped from DVDs or Blu-rays that you own or somebody's given you TV shows or you've got them elsewhere, uh, you can copy all of these without having to convert them without problem straight onto your iPad or iPhone and they will play without issue. So make sure you have your iPad or iPhone connected to your computer via USB and we want to open up iTunes. Okay, so I've got iTunes open here so, and we want to click on the devices tab here and I'm going to click on Emilio's iPad, which is my iPad that I've got plugged in via USB. Okay, the steps are the same for the iPhone as well. Now, once you're in here, so again, this is this is version. Um, so what are we running? We're running iTunes 12.12 at this stage. So if yours doesn't look like this, uh, you could have an older version. So just go and download the latest version of iTunes, uh, and then you shouldn't have a problem. So once you're in here. We want to look for the apps tab on the left here. So we select apps and then you'll see all of your apps listed. Okay, so these are all apps that I've got running on my iPad. And if we scroll down, you'll see file sharing listed here. So the apps listed below can transfer documents between your iPad and this computer. And if you look in here, you'll see AV Player and VLC. So if we go into AV Player, you'll see in here the files that we've copied in. All right, the ones that we saw before, VLC is currently empty. So the easiest way to do this is I've got on my desktop a file called media, or I can just click on add. We're just going to open up media, and in here you'll see that I've got a few folders, All right? Movies, TV shows. So let's just go to movies. Okay, so I've got a movie I Am Legend on here and I want to copy it into here. So all I literally do is grab it and drag it. So this may take a little bit of time depending on how big the movie is, for example, but then it'll show up, all right? So you'll actually see that it says copying one of one currently onto the iPad. Or you can click on add and manually navigate to it. I can go into TV shows, I've got an episode of Seinfeld, so I can go and drag that in as well. Okay, so you'll see that that's already copied I Am Legend. And it's just copying Seinfeld as well. 
that is basically all you have to do. Okay, so once they have copied, you can then go back into your iPad and open up VLC Player and you will now see those episodes listed in there, like so. And you can just click on one of them and it will start playing that movie or TV show. And that is basically it. So I hope you found that helpful. I've got a whole bunch of more videos that are very helpful regarding computers and Macs. If you want to check them out, subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, by clicking the top right. And you can also uh, like my video if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.